Assalamualaikum Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Assalamualaikum 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 warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Assalamualaikum 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 In this video, we're going to be introducing a bit about Islam So sit back and enjoy Islam is the second largest religion in the world with approximately 1.9 billion adherents. It's also one of the fastest growing religions. While it's mostly based in the Middle East, did you know that the largest Muslim population is located in Indonesia with 12.7% of the world's Muslims? Muslims usually greet each other Assalamu Alaikum to say hello, which literally means peace be unto you. The longer version of the greeting would be Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, which means peace be unto you and so may the mercy of Allah and his blessings. The opponent would reply Wa alaikum salam, which is unto you be peace. These can be used for goodbyes as well. Islam means submission to the will of God. The fundamental belief is there is only one God and Muhammad is his prophet. The five pillars are the core beliefs and practices of Islam. First of all is the Declaration of Faith, Shahada, the basic requirement of being Muslim which is publicly stating the words, there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger in Arabic. To become a Muslim, you must repeat the Shahada three times in the presence of witnesses. Salah, or prayer, is the second of the five pillars. It requires all Muslims who have reached puberty to worship five times a day facing the holy city of Mecca, Saudi Arabia. The five prayers are called Al-Fajr, which is done at dawn before sunrise, Al-Dhuhr, during the midday after the sun has reached its zenith, Al-Asr, in the afternoon, Al-Maghrib, during sunset, and Al-Aisha, at night. Next up is almsgiving, Zakat. It's the giving of 2.5% of one's possessions to charity, generally to the poor and needy. The fourth is fasting, Som. During Ramadan, Muslims avoid eating any food, drinking any liquids, and misbehaving from dawn to sunset for a month. This includes taking medication. However, those who are physically or mentally incapable of fasting, such as pregnant women and children who haven't reached puberty, are exempt. The fast is also meant to give them compassion and empathy for the less fortunate. Ramadan is a holy month when Muslims aim to grow spirituality and build stronger relationships with Allah. It's also a month of mercy, forgiveness, and protection. The last one is pilgrimage, Hajj. Going to Mecca is an obligation only for those who are physically and financially capable, but over 2 million people go there each year. Pilgrims wear special simple garments that strip away distinctions of class and culture, so everyone will be equal before Allah. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and as you see, Islam is actually a peaceful religion. Thank you for watching, or as they say in Arabic, Shukran.